guys welcome to this new video in this video we'll be looking at the updated home of app which is available in good log so the previous version was not that good now they updated a lot in the home app so when we go to good log we open the home up and we see that there are like you now the new icons for every individual sub parts for example home screen has a new icon folder has a new icon so we just click on and we'll proceed to one by one and see the latest features of them so the first is home screen grid now we can set the home screen grid for example 5 to 5 6 to 6 and many others now we can set maximum of nine apps in the favorite bar so just to be drag and drop to the favorite bar maximum of nine apps and it looks cool that you can access all your apps from the below favorite apps we we'll proceed to another is the loop pages so in the home screen when you swipe right or left there will be the end of the screen so it will not circulate itself not loop itself we we'll just go to loop pages and now from third page we can directly go to the first page so it is also good but it is a gimmick not that good feature the next is the app list so when we go to the app menu we can see there are two lines of dedicated ad apps which the priority apps which we use daily or which we want to use as we can set by doing going into settings and we can set the priority apps so when we scroll down the app will not scroll we can access all the apps on one touch the next feature is the finder access so now we can just scroll down on the app screen and we can directly go to the finder access menu so we can search anything and it will search if that is not available on the phone so then it will go and search on the google or the youtube and it will provide the suggestions that what matches the best what you have searched for the next feature is the background blur control features so when you do a lot of background activities it helps to blur the background or change the color of the background. The next feature is the pop-up folder. So now we can change the transparency, the color and the size of the pop-up folders. The best feature I like is the task changer. So it has a layout options which we had before. So we have the list, we have the vertical, we have the iPhone style layout, we also have the stack, we also have the line. So we have a lot of multiple features in it. now in the stack type of layout type we have a new features available which is one is the mini mode so when we just swipe up the size will be a smaller and it will shown in the bottom side of the phone so if you have a multiple options apps available we can see the apps in the small size not the full screen size we also have some other the stack options available which is like centering the app screen so when we open a that it will go in a center and we swipe up from the bottom but when you off the center one then it will go on the sides so this is a not a useful feature but it is a good feature we can say we also have the multiple app labels search bar anything we can see the other features are not that good for use uh, not that useful for use not useful at all but it's a gimmick feature we say i hope you like the video if you like the video please do share and subscribe to the channel i will see you in my next video